Okay. Okay. Yeah, it fixed itself. Something on the computer was just like, I don't want like any of this. clear. Yes, it actually plays Glory Day. Clear can automatically catch all the missed notes, red hearts, ghosts, and enemies with heart. The automatically caught ghosts and enemies with heart is perfect. I'm blown away by every crossover character they've brought in. It's just been bangers. I, I have to. It, they literally put Glory Day as her background music. That's like my favorite fucking song from uh, from uh, DJ Max Respect's uh, playlist. They went too hard. play a new girl and check out some of the new DLC stuff. New illustrations now. Uh, we end on that. But I remember there was two there was two updates that I basically missed. Needy Dreamer Overload has a crossover. And there's the uh DJ Max respect that dropped two days ago. So I guess first things first, we find this, we find the Kotoko song, and then we go into the DJ Max respect. At least that's the game plan. Problem is, I don't know what the <laughs> crossover songs that or could be at. But I feel like I should play safe fanfare because I'm here. Yeah, I'm I'm legally obligated. This is not this does not constitute as a warm up song for me. I am going to get blown up. Kabuki does not fuck around. Yo, she even comes in hype. So seeing the early and late buttons show up is kind of weird.
I missed all of those. Yeah. Yeah, it's been too long since I've played for sure. My hands are all over the place again. Also, Master Difficulty is just always does it to me. This is a difficulty nine song. Yeah. Why not? I ended on 69. I actually did better. Did better than my first attempt at it. So that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Anyway, how are you doing tonight? Color? Is everything going okay with you? Or things sideways? Things are sideways for me. Ah, there it is. Internet overdose. Funny enough, I have yet to play the game. Okay, I guess it's not funny, but... I'm gonna play it out of principle because, god damn. Oh my god, they are overwhelmed. How old are the girls? You're asking too many questions. No, you're asking the correct fucking questions.電池の海を漂う this is actually my first time hearing this intro or hearing the theme song for for um needy streamer overload okay. oh. and it sounds it sounds like something that would sneak its way into my uh, playlist. God damn it, and I got hit. <laughs> well, so much for a perfect run, but hey, loser. That was a badass run from you during the, uh, during the uh, Guilty Gear tournament. I'm sorry I came in so late, but I was totally lurking in the background during the only. But yeah, needy streamer overload. I've been watching a lot of people play the game. I don't know why. I've been watching people. <laughs> I've been watching people play English. I've been watching Japanese folks play it. I've just been. I don't. I, I have no explanation. It's probably Ame Chan cute. Let's face it. But uh, there's still the whole concept of it's just crazy. Nah, it's super chill. I'm just happy I finally caught one of your streams. I keep missing them. The thing is, my streams are very, very sporadic recently, and I just now have kind of figured a good time to fit my fit my stream into the schedule. The stream actually almost did not happen because when I first started the stream, <laughs> the game wouldn't show up on on the screen uh, to save my butt. But I had to do a full reset, and I should probably have. No, I probably posted on Twitter by itself anyway. But yeah. Oh. That is a cute background. They said clear it, clear it, didn't see it. And I cleared it. I saw it. That's nice. Sister. Yes. What's going on? I appreciate you. I appreciate it. You know, I half expected you to say I appreciate me too. I wish I had that mindset sometimes, but that still <laughs> takes some work for me to immediately snap to it. I, I full on, like that was a Paul like, oh, it's gonna happen, he's gonna hurt my feelings. Okay. 
Now I need to find the DLC because the reason I'm playing Muse Dash right now is that uh, there, well, as you saw, there was the uh, DJ Max Respect crossover and there was also the crossover with Movie Streamer Overload. That was a pretty nice song. I just, I just wonder what songs they put onto uh, DJ Max Respect or from DJ Max Respect over here. Ayaya? Ayaya. Oh, speaking of Ayaya. We got a couple of more uh, emotes as well. Well, we already had the emotes. I just finally was able to put them on. Also, also, we got follower and animated emotes. And I don't know when that happened, but it's great. It was great to know. So I was able to put proper follower emotes in and rearrange the emotes a bit so it everything at least kind of fit into place. Um, I think it's really cool stuff. I'm still trying to find this TLC at the same time. Apparently my brain splits to three and it's kind of over with. One. Got Muse Radio. Wait, what's that? What are these? Why is there an unlock on these? Oh, they're on rotation. They're on rotation. I remember you requesting it, and since I can't find DLC as quickly, I'm gonna play it. And the song is still a low-key banger, so it works. Now, I was thinking about... Thinking about starting up Plays Blue, um, after. But, if I was, I was just gonna do some new 12 trials. Because... I still have no idea what I'm doing with her. And I'd like to learn a little bit. Also, speaking of that Hazuma uh, emoji, damn it. So Clear really does automatically hit ghosts. I like Clear. I like Clear a lot. <laughs> but then again, I like all the DLC girls. They just make shit easier. But yeah, speaking of uh, the Hazuma emoji, I found out that uh, the improvement mod is uh, back in working order for... Uh, for the uh for the BBCF. <laughs> and I I may end up fixing fixing. I may end up adjusting the Hosma emoji to be at least my color edit Hosma. I think I'm hitting the notes a little too late. You think the game's letting me know? <laughs> I'm missing some doubles. And I know why. Because I'm still playing the game uh, with just two keys. Not two keys. I'm playing on controller, but it's like, gosh, I'm still playing with like just L1 and R1 when I need to be pressing more buttons, and it's it's getting my can kick. Oh well, we cleared the song, and that's what matters. Seriously, where? Is it? Ah, DJ Max reflect. We have Flurry Day in the game. We're saving that one for last. Let it rock. I guess I'll play it in reverse. So things are probably gonna get easier as I go through. I'm just gonna go about 
question. I'm probably gonna play the whole DLC pack. Even though I don't play it much, I, I, I did really like playing DJ Max's back when I was playing it. Oh, they got fancy now. Oh no, I didn't miss a DLC. Okay. Uh, why is Nightmares normal mode just level 9? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I guess before I hop into this. And I probably already act. How's y'all's day? <laughs> <coughs> Because my day has been busy and then not busy, and then very busy, and then very not busy. It's been up and down. That's the easiest way to put it. And since I'll be going in reverse, it's gonna be like, hey, we're about to go hard, and then it'll go soft. As a fair and uh, acceptable assessment there, Landon, I feel the same way. I'm pretty sure y'all's watching Frosty right now. You know, Pero Pero really be showing their ass when they uh drop the DLC packs. And then you see the custom beat maps that come with the new DLC. Why is this song automatically? I still hate that the song normal mode is I still hate that this song's normal mode is, uh, nine difficulty. I keep getting hit. L clear versus L fell. me on the skip and I'm just like, I'm going to die. Wait! Well, no, that makes sense. I'm very slow when the, uh, when the, B when the BPM turns up. some fucking bangers of track, if you ask me. Alright. Marissa sitting all the way in the back, you right. My recent times have had me absolutely tied up and pretty messed up. Uh, just for time management, scheduling, anything. And with my recent schedule, I'm basically in a situation where I can't even uh, I can't even join attorneys 
Like, I can't join any of the VFTC tournaments if they're on a Friday. <laughs> because I'm literally studying, or not studying, I'm literally caught up in class as the tournament begins. And I probably wouldn't even make it after, like, getting DQ'd into losers. So it's... All those plans go belly up now. But... At least I can... Tune in and just... Cheer some... Some fellow VTubers on, you know? And it's a very good feeling because it's one of those... It's slight nostalgia and it helps that some you know, some of those that I used to watch do partake sometimes being an observer is weird uh, that's all I'll say and this song is kind of funky and I do like how clear just shows up every oh I got IFC I was just talking about how I can't play fighting games with one of them. <laughs> how did- how was that not an S? If I FC the fucking song? <laughs> uh, my accuracy shit. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think that's the other main problem. Everything was just early. Oh well. Don't forget to give your eyes some rest. I'll, I'll make sure to do so if my body will let it. Does anyone even read this? Yes. We do. But yeah, I really like the way that beat map was uh, doing it. Uh, or, or how they had... How they had fail show up to the beat. And it's just like for just an instantaneous flash. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody just walked out of nowhere and said cha-cha real smooth. automatically but it counts them as late if I don't time it Business being that smooth. Damn. Shouts to Twin Tails. What? I am molding. I say shout out to Twin Tails and you're losing hair? Why? What's going on, color? Dance the night away.
Oh, shoot. You know what? For the sake of just being nice about it, I should probably follow up on where we're live again. Oop. I'm so sorry. I probably should have linked my page, but you know what? Fuck it. I, I don't care anymore. Three, two, one. <laughs> I can't wait for the next event on Brand Blue. We deal with the society and Ipatsu shows up again. I'm not gonna lie, I almost messed up because I was looking at chat and <laughs> I just was not keeping up with where the buttons were. Nothing gonna stop me tonight. I'm getting an awful lot of early seconds now that I now that I set this thing on. Sweet naive sister. What? I said sweet naive sister. Sweet naive sister? Naive sister. Oh. Naive sister. Oh, oh. I was like, I know someone named Naive, but I, that's a nickname I gave somebody. And how the fuck do you know that? <laughs> oh, oh, sister, don't you know? I know everything. <laughs> All right, that is the S of the S. I mean, fair enough. I, I like playing this game, or I like playing this song. I do like playing this game too. I just so happen to play it whenever I feel bad. And if anybody tuned into like my streams like every other night, it was usually Muse Dash. <laughs> At least last year. There was a lot of Muse Dash, there was a lot of Valhalla. And Val Valhalla may be oh. coming back. Because oh, I still wow. need to do the Kira Miki route. It has to happen. word that I want to look for, but it feels funky. But I know that's not the uh, adjective I'm looking for. I think the feeling that it gives me is that area of uh, not, not K-pop. That area of J-pop that I really like to listen to. 
Did she just TP? Did she just TP? <laughs> she literally did the wink and everything, and I'm like, God damn it, fail. Yeah, that was that was definitely fun. Coco, you never explained to me why you were emolding, man. I hope it ain't. Oh my God, it's an eight difficulty song. Maybe that's why. Maybe you were future molding, future proof. Also, speaking of future proofing, there are changes to my hair. Accurate changes. It's a nice look. My highlights and everything is actually color accurate. And it's crazy. I feel like there's a flame in my chat. I had to very loosely hear that I was raided, I believe. Yeah, that's a, that's, that is definitely a flame in my chat. How are you doing tonight? I am currently enjoying the uh, Glory Day DLC in a Muse Dash. And hopefully, fingers crossed at least, my regular stream days would actually be today. Hopefully. We'll see. Alright. Fiori Vix. Sir, Madam, Faith, them. Hello, Viori. Welcome to the Star Cypher. It's so great to have you join us in today. I'm literally just trying to get my DJ Max respect on because I haven't played the actual game in God knows how long. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to enjoy Claire and Phil have a good ass time while I do this eight difficulty song and some was somehow keeping a streak going when knowing damn well if any difficulty is over seven, I die. But but this song is hmm. Let's just say it's it's ticking boxes right now. I'm also afraid of what the master mode would be. The master mode would probably absolutely destroy me, bend me over and everything. I <laughs> I'm off focus. I don't understand how anyone could play these kind of games. I'm so bad at them. Uh, mm, uh, mm. well, I like, I really like rhythm games. Uh, I'm not great at a lot of them and it depends on the structure of how the games work uh with uh oh god that felt terrible but um with how muse dash works it's a really it's it's definitely more forgiving than a lot of rhythm games that i have played and that i currently play and the cool thing about it is uh, basically, with Muse Dash, and a difference that I tend to get from playing it is that you are able to, uh, well, you have two lines where all the music will go through. I'm moving my hands, like, you can actually see my hands move. Sorry, old habits. But, you know, there's two lines of notes that you have to hit at, and in Muse Dash, you're able to use more than one button to hit those notes. So, you can either play on a controller or the keyboard itself. It is perfectly fine to button mash in this game. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why I do like playing it, is that you have a better chance of, you know, surviving, even if you miss notes. Button mashing, I'm good at that. If you like button mashing, then definitely get into them fighting games. We got the whole glossary right there in the chat. For <laughs> that was an unintentional segue, but yeah. Button mashing definitely uh, helps out a lot. And I mean, over here, I tend to play fighting games and I tend to play rhythm games. Sometimes it's shooters, sometimes it's action games. Usually never horror games. I have my reasons. But yeah, I'm just going through this uh, crossover event, and it's been fun so far. A lot, not I won't say nostalgia, because I just started playing DJ Max Respect, 
and that was maybe about a year and a half ago, around 2020, because I think that's when it officially came out on Steam. And I love their songs. I, I love their songs like up to down. So when they crossed over with Muse Dash, I looked at him like, really? Are you sick? For real? But yeah, hopefully, hopefully the groove now will be, we can stream on Saturday. I gotta, there's a lot of stuff I'm going to have to do to make sure that occurs. But yeah. Also, keep your eyes peeled on next, next Friday? This, this Friday that's coming up? February the 4th. I can only hope that I can do the thing I want to do. It's gonna be very late because Friday, as I've said, I'm in class all day. But God damn it, I'm going to stream that Friday. And for most folks, the occasion is not that special. And there's gonna be a lot of people that'll be doing like debuts, re-debuts, stuff like that on that day. But me, apparently, February 4th is my one year anniversary as a VTuber. And it's also the day that I first dropped Continue. The fact that even though my momentum seemed to have slowed down a bit, it's still remarkable that I'm still doing things, and that for some reason people are, uh, people rock. <laughs> Goodness, you guys, like I said, you guys could be anywhere else in the universe. I appreciate it if, if you rock with me. I saw something in chat. <laughs> I mean, if you want me to properly learn the entire first verse again, I can do it. Did you know that his discipline was unforgiven? And that he has you backing up in a defensive position? I've been so knee-deep in frustrating calls for the last four days, so I've pretty much missed nearly everything you said since you started stream. Just now on break. Dang, it's shocking when homies choose to be homies. Huh? <laughs> I mean... Yeah, fair. Fair. If you've been... Knee deep within calls, I can only be under the impression that you may do something like a call center or working from home that way. Part of me, I'm like, I'm so sorry. And then the other side is like, I'm so jealous. Is a is a mixed coin because everyone that I know that does do like work at home stuff, it usually has something to do with customer service and it's a very miserable experience. Be and as someone that's done retail customer service, understandable. Either calls are dead or they're stupidly obnoxious and never ending. I try my best to at least cherish the good folks that come through because, oh my gosh, just the term, the bad outweighs the good really does be prevalent in that uh, field. I never thought, no, never thought. I don't think I asked. Fiore, uh, how you doing tonight? Is everything going all right with you? Uh, gosh. It, forgive me if, uh, I mean, no, I, I normally speak this way, but forgive me if it seems like I'm slightly off. But I have had my stream schedule basically cut, cut from three days a week to 
If I'm lucky, a Saturday. A week. Heck, even with, even after, um, even after next week, I won't be able to stream the week after. There'll be an event that'll be going on that I have to attend. And the cool thing is, potentially, potentially, if, if I'm not too hemmed up, I may actually get to, uh, meet Meriwether and Luna. And I think that's pretty fucking fly. It'll be an RTX meeting. It'll be great. Maybe I'll love every second of it. Uh, I flat out haven't even streamed because of how much molding work makes me do. I end up wanting to just lay in bed for the rest of the night. Sure, that's the reason. <laughs> Bro, we've been chilling and watching Baki or playing Pokemon Unite. Have y'all gotten into a... I almost said Arceus Legends. Legends of Arceus? Pokemon Legends? Or was that now on y'all with the radar? It's understandable if not. I've seen a lot of friends uh, actually enjoy it though. <sighs> I don't know why I don't hear the ready go anymore. Also, let the stream be. Let the stream be your sign to uh, play DJ Max Respect. It has great songs. It also has great crossovers. If that's your thing, the only reason to play the game. It has crossovers like the Girls Frontline, where you can play What Am I Fighting For, or Frontline, or Sangus Fairy. You can do the Guilty Gear crossover, where they literally have. Elfel's theme. I know how much you love Elfel. They have League of Legends crossover where ain't nobody bringing us down, 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 down. Yes, they have the KDA theme. They also have Get Jinx. They also have the Porter Robinson crossover. Don't act like I don't know uh, the Ghost Voice song. That's literally my favorite song in the game. And I would be the MC8 if I play it, but I don't care. <laughs> I will play it anytime I play that game. Now, with uh, DJ Max Respect, it's definitely a jump in difficulty in comparison to playing Muse Dash. And it's completely understandable if, like, the piano type gameplay can be overwhelming for someone. Especially if you had, like, no uh, formal practice in it, like me. Anything that is higher than normal and more than four keys absolutely murders me. And I'm pretty sure if I picked up the game now, I'll cry. Not live on stream. I'll just cry inside. Oh, well, I dropped my, uh, well, don't matter. I dropped my full, cl full clear. I might buy Arceus. But it's not a must-buy at all. Also, what's your excuse, Flame? I need to get good at FNF before I even try that. Well, I can assure you that, uh... Playing Max Respect... Uh... Playing Max Respect... Is a... Would be a bit different from playing Friday Night Funkin'. You're my excuse. Oh my god. No. Please, don't. No. <laughs> The man actually hit you with Burinia. You don't know what to stream, Nick. Everything wrong in my life is gonna be wet. <laughs> Almost a nice. Flame 
the beast and start reflecting on yourself. Oh my god. You too. I actually can't. Oh, that reminds me. Today was also that uh, Aegis tournament. The, the, the Apex tournament uh, hosted by Domo. That was pretty cool. I... I liked what I saw. It was fun up to the end, but it was still overall good. Even though the reasoning was explained to me, I still feel a way about it. <laughs> like normally, normally I'm I'm all for a, for a good chuckle too, and and I don't think there were any actual stakes in that tournament, so. There's no real heat here. It's just sometimes collusion hit different and not in a good way. This <sighs> motherfucker color coding into a Phoenix player and you you gonna be C3. I don't mean a lawyer. I'm taking this <laughs> taking his ass to court. He's cool, leave me alone. Just stop sucking and let me get five bars. <laughs> From what I'm hearing is Flame needs to kill Phoenix now. He's telling me not to play the game, SMH. My man's never learned how to snap Phoenix in. Yo, Flame, that's like essential. You either snap Phoenix in. Or you learn the anti-Phoenix tech. That means play Spider-Man. Give me pictures of Spider-Man. Guess who does need her? Oh god. Could be the gravel little tag. To watch out for some redhead woman who can't control her emote. Mmm, that's kinda dirty. Ghost Rider players, man. Sometimes we have issues. And sometimes those issues can cause catastrophic damage to the entire world. I should know. Catastrophic damage to Flame's mental. That could have been an FC. Oh well. We're almost done with DLC. These songs have been fun to play. Hopefully. Hopefully I already have the uh, illustration. You'd be like, I can't control it, bruh. Just get Doom to take Phoenix Force for you. Seen him on Dr. Doom. Reshape the universe. For some fantastic four. Mm. Flame. <laughs> no disrespect. All caps for the man's name. Damn. Oh, you're right. RIP MF Doom. I think one of the good things, and please correct me if I'm wrong, anyone that has extensively played the Muse Dash. The DJ Max Respect crossover brought Korean songs into this game. 
And that... That's really fucking cool. We have Chinese songs, we have Japanese songs, we have English songs, we have songs with no lyrics, we have Korean songs. We probably even got German in this bitch somewhere. In short, just play Muse Dash for uh, diversity. So shout out to diversity. Rocky, we gotta get you into one of our sessions. Wait, uh, Marvel sessions? Uh, well, I'm not necessarily good at Marvel, but I'll, I'll, I could try and play. I'm actually grossly horrible at Marvel now that I think about it. And it's mostly, mostly, dent, mostly deals with me being a uh, unprofessional choke artist. It's great. You need to bear witness to this madness. Didn't this game get a total crossover? Yes. What songs got added? Real shouts to diversity. We need more of it. Anything real. Yeah. Yeah, 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 uh, diversity is great. And a couple of songs that I know off the top of my head. Bad Apple, because of course it was something I'm putting in. Flowering Night. And there's this one song that I always forget the name of, but I know it when I hear it. But, uh, should be able to just... I never tried it this way. So we'll, we'll see. Um, music in default music. Um, Maybe I have to actually flip. Just as planned plus. That should be flower and night right over here. Okay, I have to go back to Malden now. Alright, homie. Let's see. I can well, I'll probably just show up under here. Off the horizon, just plan plus. Ah. So oh. So yeah, this this should be the uh, Toho song. And they were all bangers too. And this was the song I was referring to. It's like, oh, I remember it. I know it. I know it samples you and Owen was her, but that's about all that I remember. Yeah, I perfect last one. And this is the other song that I just, I'll know it as soon as it plays, but I would never be able to tell you the name because I need to study more. I still need to sing the uh sad apple. We'll figure that out. did I want you now we're at grooving up all right about three more songs about three more songs oh no he's gonna time skip me
Oh. And while it's on the back of my mind. Ah, uh, gosh, what's the term? What's the, what's the word? It's on the tip of my tongue. I wanted to eventually test out using this VR headset. There's a couple of VR games that I do have that I was curious to just mess around with. And my connection method is a bit weird and it may actually kill the stream. But hopefully we can give that a shot at some point or heck, even tonight if there's enough interest. I'm not it's not really what I had planned, but hey. And I mean for the most part, the games that I do have on VR. Um, they're mostly, mostly music games. I think the only, only thing that isn't is like playing VR chat with friends. And some friends make it impossible to play VR chat with them and stream it. Because of course they do. Fucking miss me. Multi-layered mystery. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Get fucked edition. Sometimes in some cases, literally. Please don't fuck your Pokemon. I seriously. How many VR chat models do you have, Karaku? Um, I'm just a free user. I maxed out on the 25, but uh, I never made a model for VR chat. Honestly, I need to learn how to Blender in Unity, or not not only for like VR chat purposes, but it's a nice skill that I would be able to use. It, say, I, say if I get put on to like a company or something. And it'd also be really cool, like, if I did just sit there, you know, work on small things day by day, and eventually get to the point to be like, hey, anybody wants, uh, does, does anyone want a, uh, I'm probably gonna butcher it, but, but does anyone want a model made? Anybody wanna, want a mama or something? Finally got enough chops to at least make a halfway decent outfit for you. I won't say it'll be for the low, but it will be for a price. Because if there's anything I learned, uh, being nice and setting your own price is not a good mix. Never a good mix. Because some folks be like, damn. I ain't that good and undercharge the hell out of themselves when they make phenomenal shit. Good for the consumer, terrible for the artist, and it hurts to see. Alright, finally got to the glory day. But there is a model that I quote unquote use as my main model on VR Chat Flame, and it's pretty much as close to me as I could get and I, I don't remember the person that made it I'm sorry but thank god for one is it's a dark skin model it has two it's twin tail so it's a nice shout out to my mascot I'm not sure if it's fox or wolf because I have a hard time telling the difference sometimes. And the color is pastel pink. And I like I like that color. It has Yuno Gasai on a t-shirt. And their eyes look like the fucking universe. Even though I normally just set my eyes to be permanently closed. 
And I just talk to people in that model, more or less. The other models that I have is a couple of me models, uh, a couple of girl models, because pretty. And I like being pretty. Um, what else? Yeah, me models, girl models. There's this Chica face that no matter where you go, Chica will always stare at you. I love that model. That out of the animes that I've not seen but adore the character in, Kasumi no Chica is definitely one of them. Uh, what other models do I have? I have, I have a Santa Nero model, or as people have just grown to call, call it, a Pateru model. And that's literally the, that was the reason I even got VR chat in the first place. I just wanted that Nero model. That was the only condition of me playing the game. And then we found it. <laughs> I don't think I've done this one yet. How are you first introduced to the FTC? Me first introduced to the FTC. I was always in it. I was born up. No, I'm joking. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess this will basically uh tell you my age again. Yeah. But I would say that was a formal introduction to what the fuck is an FGC when Twitch streams were really taking off and. They were uh, streaming tournaments that way, uh, for the most part. And I hope my voice is going over Glory Day perfect, uh, going over it fine. If not, oh well. Um, so, the best way to put it is that, in, give or take a decade ago, you know, Twitch was, uh, just budding and really getting out there and alongside several of my uh, alongside yeah alongside several of my friends uh, one of them is currently in the voice chat right now yeah yeah Raffle I'm talking about you <laughs> uh, we we tended to we tend to watch a lot of the tournament play uh, as far as just tournaments that we did watch, it was a lot of, I want to say it was a lot of Persona for Arena, a lot of Guilty Gear, and some Blaze Blue as well. Um, and then we also watched, you know, a couple of the big scenes, uh, locals. So, you know, when they had... Sorry about the sidetrack, but in theory, they, that, that shouldn't deserve me. Okay. But we saw some of the local stuff, or, you know, the big locals, like Wednesday Night Fights, uh, NLBC. Um, hmm, I'm trying to think of any other things, because it's been that long. Some of those locals don't exist anymore. It's rough out there. It's cold outside. But as far as just like my own personal formal introduction to the FGC, um, the FGC that I'm part of, and you, this is public knowledge, you can see it, uh, you can see it on my Twitter bio. I am a part of the Alabama FGC. I personally say I'm a, I'm a very small part of it, but I'm a part of it nonetheless. Uh, that FGC was known for, well, is known for their Guilty Gear players. Oh wait, we talking about stuff? Hey George! Yeah, there was a story time for when I was first introduced to the FGC. 
and I'm ex- I'm kind of trying my best to take it from the top. But I know my memory is a little. It's gonna be a little off about this. But the FTC I came from, they are known for really good, uh, really good Guilty Gear players and really dedicated TOs. And uh, my first introduction to them was in literal passing and not knowing who, who most are and who were they going to be. So these are, you know, about a decade ago or so. But um, when I first went to university, we used to have a... Friday night meetup where everyone just played video games to give you a good climate of what the games that were normally being played we had the Street Fighter 4 we had the Persona we had the Marvel vs. Capcom and since it was like kind of a smorgasbord of all the other games you know folks played other games or brought their game systems and stuff people brought Just Dance and I became obsessed (laughs) with Just Dance So I show up to the Knights to play a little bit of fighting games, but to mostly dance. But then by going to those Knights, I eventually learned about the Fight Club at my university, or the, yeah, I think it was called the Fight Club. No, it was like, yeah, it was called the Fight Club, or it was like Fight Nights. It it was a subsection in itself, and they met up on other Knights. I show up to like both of these events, And in passing, I've seen some of the really powerful, like, figureheads of the community. They pull up because, hey, we had tournaments and stuff, and some of the, some of the more, some, some good players were there, and some was just there to just get, get the money and, uh, dip, and that's all good. And as far as my own exposure to everything, it was just, damn, I love fighting games. Damn, y'all beating my ass. This is okay. This is fine. But the thing that made me push into just actually learning about what the heck the FGC was, you know, not only from watching the Twitch streams and all of that, it's, uh, it was mostly, hmm, how do I word this? Not only because of the Twitch streams, but, you know, if anyone, like, follows my Twitter stuff, I mentioned that I have two FGC dads, one that I talk about a lot, who's like a slowly growing and prominent, uh, a slowly growing commentator, that, that's the term I'm looking for, commentator in a Tekken, and I think a little bit in gear. That's one of my FGC dads, but the other one's the reason that I even know about the FGC and fighting games in general. He, for a moment, took the helms at this college's uh, fighting game group. And he introduced the main game and said, All right, you guys, we're playing Blaze Blue... uh, Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma. And that's... That's what, long story short, got me into uh, really being like, damn, these fighting games go hard. Well, these fighting games go hard, but I need to go harder because I'm sick of losing. <laughs> because when I first was playing Blaze Blue, uh, when I was first playing Blaze Blue, yeah, I was way worse than what I was starting off with. I didn't know how to do anything with Hosma, and then even when Chrono Phantasma dropped, my Hosma ability took a severe nerf because the way I played him was just I'm gonna be across this map and I'm gonna spam so many chains and you can't do anything about it you just have to hold that and then they put a counter on it and I was like oh I guess I gotta actually learn the man now huh and even then for most of my matchups I was still very poor at it because it was like the moment I mess up I lose a chunk of my health because I have no combos! You would make a good Spencer player. No, I wouldn't. I tried. I I tried playing Spencer in Marvel. My Marvel team, because remember, remember if we take a few steps back, Marvel was one of the main games on my campus. 
my Marvel team I played, Vanilla Marvel, it was Dante, Deadpool, and Felicia on Anchor. Level 3 Felicia and just button mashing on that was an uh, actual fear and people died because she was just there. And uh, when Ultimate came around, Felicia got switched out for Beautiful Joe on point. And the main reason I picked Beautiful Joe is because he's a smaller character. People drop their combos for some reason. It's like, shit, why? Why? The small motherfucker, I can't keep a hold of him. It's like, perfect. Now I can at least kind of live a little bit longer and spaghetti my way to maybe a victory. Maybe. But that still meant I had to learn how to play Dante and Deadpool. The only character I really had an ace on that team was technically just Deadpool. Dante was nice, but I can do it in the style of shit. And Deadpool, eh, it was here or there. And then, you know, when he goes level three, you can kind of quick work someone to death if you land it, right? Um, and what was I? Oh, right. With the Blaze Blue improvement stuff, that's when I started watching other streamers, other Blaze Blue players, uh, indirectly learning about like Cosmo mains and and all of that nature and just I never I never was someone that was into the forum culture I didn't like talking on forums I was also horribly shy back then uh, and I also wasn't streaming as much back then well I was streaming but that's a different story entirely but I wasn't too much into the FGC forums I never really spoke there I wasn't, I was definitely one of those stream lurkers rather than stream monsters. And I, there were several moments that I just watched that just kept me in love with fighting games. Um, different, different moments like, different moments like, I believe it was an Evo. And Bananakin was uh, basically mopping up uh, Japan. And the whole Banana America thing was going on. That's one of the more memorable moments for me. Um, the Anime Room Salty Suites at Evo's. I used to always tune in for those. Those were like some of my favorite moments for, or to look forward to for Evo. Of course, you know, diminishing returns. So the more I looked at it, the less I really wanted to. There was moments like the Dogra versus Galileo moment for Evo, where the entire bracket gets reset and Galileo brings it back from the depths. Every match was a fucking masterpiece. And I'm pretty sure that bore a lot of a lot of lychee players. Like that that made a lot of lychee players on that day. And a lot of Dogra folks as well. Um, SKD running rampant on everyone. Um, what other moments are like really memorable for me? Hmm. You know when Don't Lose Your Way was really popular. <laughs> and uh, Shabris could uh, combo into her insta-kill in vanilla P4A. That. And then Banana Ken did it like in bracket. Like. Uh, obviously I had some inspirations back then as to like the mains I played today but those moments really helped shape me saying you know I really like fighting games and I really hope uh, I really hope that I can at least show that type of appreciation or at least give it back to my own community the only way shape and form that, I, that I've technically accidentally <laughs> put myself into for it is that uh is that I help out with my local anime convention which so happens to be the biggest anime convention in the state and I just talk with some of the folks in our fighting game community and in hopes that they help us out hopes that they come through and hopes that I, that I can uh help put on a good show for them where it's still a growing pain a really big growing pain and there's a lot of process that I just I feel like I'm falling flat on but hey I'm slowly learning and it's 
slow motion is better than no motion, for one. It's better late than never, too. And during the times where this invention has gone on, everyone's everyone for the most part has enjoyed the tournaments that has that actually occurs. And I just wish that I could do more, but I know what the situation that I'm in is. I can only do so much, and there's a lot of things that I would love to do where my hands are technically tied to do. But, you know, we'll, we'll get there someday. Uh, if I am still doing, like, the TO stuff, and by the way, the, the convention, I, I don't mind talking about it, the convention is a Comic Con, but I don't mention it too often because, hey, this is a, this is actually supposed to be a family friendly convention I I'm family friendly when I need to be but at the same time my thoughts and opinions is not to reflect what is Comic Con and it's a really fun convention it's a three day convention it's the biggest one in Alabama I know this has now turned into a pitch for people to bring your ass to Comic Con but we are partnering up with another group in the uh, Alabama FTC. They're basically spearheading this. And they're called New Challenger Approaches. NCA, for short. They got a big team battle planned in Dragon Ball Fighters. I think it's going to be the dopest shit. They have several games in mind, in mind that they're going to... Uh, they're gonna go come out with or you know host in terms of tournaments and this at, at the very least this is what I'm what I was looking forward to doing when I got when I put myself into this position is give my local FGC any opportunity to help to hopefully help get others into the genre that we love. That's what I want to do ultimately, and that's the re that's the re that's one of the reasons why I stream too. It's like I want people to enjoy fighting games. You don't have to be God to have a good time at fighting games, and people tend to forget that. And it it's rough, but what can you do? Now, I've rambled a little too far and went a little too off track, but I hope that covered the uh, story mode for you. <laughs> and I, since that was technically the last song, I wanted to play Master Mode of Glory Day, and then I'll probably play a few favorites to, uh, play a few favorites to close this out. But I did the DLC. That this is literally I I literally came in with a purpose and have completed the purpose. You still have place, Paul. Oh fuck! Oh oh god! This actually started off on fire. I wasn't expecting a whole note that early. Also, I know you came in like in the middle of the story time, but how you how you doing tonight, George? Is everything all right? Uh, work ain't too much on you right now, is it? I am missing the whole notes. I am missing the hell out of these whole notes. That's what I'm playing! So you don't believe me? I'm playing it right now. Is this the Japanese version? Or the Korean version? 
It's the Korean version. Okay. Basically, Glory Day, Glory Days has two different versions to it. One is in Korean, one is in Japanese. I mean, the emotion is still the same no matter which one you listen to, and I've... God, I... Let's just say I just... I really love this song, okay? Like, I felt like if there was ever a good-ass theme song, this is it, right here. Not necessarily for the rocket, but... It may actually work, I mean... Once again, that, that leads into lore stuff that I will have to work on after after all the school stuff is out of the way. Because I found out that with the school stuff, I am going to have a hard time, baby. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to work at that one. But yeah. I guess in summary, support your local FCC. <laughs> um, shout out to fighting games. Shout out to Comic Con. Um, play DJ Mass Effect. Play needy streamer Overload. <laughs> and uh, yeah, fall for uh, Kawaii uh, Angel Chan. Oh, I'm sorry, OMG Kawaii Angel Chan. It's the one and only K Angel. Right at your front door. Right there next to Muse Radio. Gonna play a couple of gonna play a couple of Muse Radio tracks. And close out with Disco Night like I normally do. Yeah, I can go left or right. Knock back all boss. Remote attacks perfectly. I still haven't done. We can try it. We can try and go for that uh, achievement. I see an unobtained trophy. I don't know if I'm gonna get it though. <sighs> I'm used to playing this song on Master now. Even though I'm not too good at playing it on Master, it's like I'm just used to what shows up. So it's a little weird going difficulty down now. random but I know you're saying I'd make a good Spencer player I now you can see shadows of this if I ever play now to and play as blue but for no reason at all I will bionic on I don't care if it's blocked or what and that's why I wouldn't make a good Spencer player <laughs> because I won't I will try and punch the shit out of someone if at any given opportunity. You can also see it if I play Azrael. I do not confirm it's a Blackhawk Stinger all the time. I just want a Blackhawk Stinger. I want to see that man rear back, flex every muscle in his body, and hit your ass. I need your lifeless body to drag across the floor. Nothing more, nothing less. You need to be fed. I need you to no longer hunger. And of course, it gets either blocked or jabbed, and I just have to hold that. Also, strangely enough, uh, Spencer's claws and everything is, uh... I wouldn't say it's, like, wacky or wonky or anything. I never really got a... Like, I didn't know how to play fighting games like that then. And I never really got a grasp on his uh, ability of 
just, you know, grabbing folks and saying, get the fuck back over here. I'm not done with you yet. Can I knock everything back? Oh, every hit is supposed to be perfect. That's why I didn't get it. Mmm. I have to get better at that song then. I understand. Speaking of trying to get better at a song. Senpai, please notice me. Although, ironically, I'm just, I'm Senpai now. I hope my chat is working. Doubles uh smacking me right now. I was doing a little bit better. I think it was the first time that I uh, got as many holds as I did. Yeah, I got a new best. Wow. Okay. Oh. Let me do a quick check to make sure my stuff isn't uh, bugging. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, That's when you fine. said that, I should have just typed in your chat. I'm sorry. You're fine. What about not paying attention, sister? Don't worry about it, sister. Alright, where is it? I know what I want to play. I know what I want to play. We're at the point. It has to happen. It has to be this way. That was a nice sesh. I do need to find someone to raid after this. But, uh... Gonna play some Disco Night. As I- as I want to do when, uh... On the twilight of the stream. Ready? Go! Not that- Not that night, sister. Not that night, sister. <laughs> of course, I don't have. I really don't have to stop the stream at the moment. And I still have, like, a good deal of energy. It's just. I know there's some side things I still need to get ready for and also whatever the fuck that welling is in my uh in this house i need to uh, i may need to attend to that i will be back i'm gonna go get my chicken nugs out of the air fryer long story short the star cypher is haunted that, that's all i can assume at this point they gave me a free Amber outfit too? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, uh, you know, CCP censorship or uh, Genshin. That will be the, or that will be the new original outfit for those four characters moving forward. So every cutscene will be that outfit. that bottom note someday. I will FC the song again. Okay, 
I logged in, got my rewards, time to move on to the next <laughs> It's nice that at least know the point of the song where things get difficult on my hands. Okay. Also, I feel like... Did we get a new companion? No, it's still Dr. Page. Okay. Oh, the memory is the source of my power. So always praise me. Thank you, Claire. I'm safe and unexpected. He was almost bewitched by fail. It was literally a close call. Claire will clear all the songs here. <laughs> That's a cosplay? Okay. That's nice. That's cool. You know, I never saw what, uh... Never saw what Raymond's lines were. But, but nonetheless, nonetheless, this was a good-ass time. I... enjoyed it. I know my tone doesn't sound like I enjoy it. <laughs> my tone sounds like, man, I'm sick of everything, bro. That, that, that could be further from the truth. So, who? Who should we fall in on? My head's not... Scrambled, or too scrambled. Even though I know I could keep playing or going on and all that, it's like probably best we just just kick it. Mm -hmm. I'm checking through the homies. Yo, did the legend go up? I don't think they're uh, where they been at? I am seeing 30 minutes over there. We may have someone. Also someone this. Anyway. Struggling. Having a donut fun. I wonder if the donut fun is close to finish. Hmm. Okay. All right. Hey yo. You know what? Because he's live. Just because he's fucking lying. <laughs> We're going to Kataru. Oh, okay. Yeah, man's live. Man's live. He's doing the Genshin Impact. Uh, he got lucky on the side, so you know he had to do it to him. Can't change my mind. Can't change my mind, sister. I'm not asking you to change your mind. I'm asking you if I can beat him up. And I'm replying, you can't change my mind, sister. Hey, fine. I'm selecting them then. Sure, yeah. empty my schedule. You guys, uh, you guys have a wonderful <laughs> night. Um, once again, you know, support fighting games. Support those you care for. Uh, who you care for doesn't necessarily have to be family, and family does not necessarily have to be blood. Oh. Uh, who won BB Tag? And it was me, Ruffle. I won BB Tag. Make sure you look over yourself, look after yourself, and people will be really sad if you were gone. This is Karate Neo. It's gonna be signing out for tonight. I want you all to remember, well, not only to love yourself, but you're always welcome here for another verse. Now go out there and shine like the star that you are, 
And if it isn't obvious as far as aesthetic goes, why I love Clear as a character, look at her. Just look at her. Until next hole. time, Sayonara 2, Oyasumi 1. The story, story shows. That's how the cipher rolls, you know. And then we let it go into the sky, so chill with me. We give it all in our mind. It's always feeling so fun. It's hard to come up to get down. It's time to feel through the sound. You got the feeling right now. We bounce and getting all out. If you rock in a smile, just come and rock with us now. High in the sky, you feeling right. It's not a fun to flight. If you consent, it's gonna.